Hello there, it's Sam from Cycle Factory and um, thought I'd just bring you a quick video to show you a little bit around this new Cube e-bike um, that's appeared yesterday online. Uh, we did have a little heads up about this about six months ago, I just saw a picture. Um, <clears throat> not masses of information yet really, um, but can give you a quick idea of what the new bike's about. So basically it's an all new um, full carbon frame, uh, so different to the current sort of stereo 160, 140 lineup, which are aluminium rear end. Um, different suspension layout, um, full 29er only, um, 160 travel at the front, 155 at the rear. I'm, I'm saying it's 155, even though I say, they say 150, because why else would they call it the 155, but uh, you never know. So let's have a look. Three models, SLX, TM, and SLT. Uh, so I'm just having a little look at the uh, the TM here, which will, says is a retail of 8,099. <clears throat> so the whole idea of this really, I think, was to, to make a lighter platform. Um, it dropped around three kilos to the existing um, stereo lineup which just through means of the frame really because um, you've still got a whopping 750 watt battery in there and a Bosch CX motor um, the new uh, <clears throat> the new display and the small um, little wireless bar button uh, let's just have a look 8,099 for the TM it is a price hike over the uh, like the Stereo 160, which is an absolutely amazing bike. Um, so we get to see how how keen people will be to take these up over what is absolutely phenomenally priced 160 or 140 models. Um, so TM's in this uh, gloss green and matte green. Um, Looks a little bit like um, Action Team spec, really. Full Kashima Fox, so Fox 38 up front, Kashima Transfer Post, and an X2, um, which is a little bit curious when you see the SLT uses the Float X. Um, XT drivetrain, and the Newman aluminium wheel set, which is a very good wheel set. XT brakes. Um, so yeah, what you're looking at an overall weight of 22.9 kilos for the TM. So you're about three kilos, may even be a bit less over a stereo 160. Full 29, my preference after riding the 160 for a few months is the 27 and a half works fantastic for an e-bike. The stability comes from the weight of the bike. Smaller wheels make it more agile. Uh, still no mullet. Uh, Wouldn't surprise me. Very big company. Slow to react to things. It just so happens that my current crop of e-bikes have landed on perfect numbers really and ride amazing. You look way better than they ever have done before. The SLX looks to be, when you look at the pictures on, on the website, again, it, at first glance it just appears to be a black frame, but it's actually liquid red, um, which is very similar to like a specialised colour, which looks amazing in the flesh. Um, you've got to sift through the images to find the ones that show, you can see it's like. So to round up, um, what are the differences, major differences really? So you've got a complete new carbon fibre frame, the existing stuff uses the aluminium back end, uh, altered suspension platform, um, looking at like a yoke driven uh, shock mounted into the underside of the top tube. 
um, alter kinematics and geometry, they say. Um, you've got the new Bosch remote uh, sunken into the top tube um, with the mini bar remote. Um, so you can't use that, that mini bar remote with the existing bigger remote. Um, full 29, um, more travel than a stereo 140, a little bit less travel than a stereo 160 uh, with the bigger wheels, um, lighter overall, not just as light when you look closely at the figures as you'd imagine. Um, and there's things like tyre spec are slightly different as well. Um, yeah, it looks like they're using the wireless speed sensor now, uh, which is a little, you'll see like a little brick on the um, rear valve and all smart system motors, unbeknownst to everyone else, have a, an internal wireless sensor that can be used, so you don't need to have the magnet um, on the rear rotor and the speed sensor in place, um, so shifting over to that. Um, otherwise, yeah, price differences, just a, a different offering really, um, and a lighter package. I would have liked to have seen them maybe offer it with different size batteries. Um, now you can adjust the modes um, on Bosch. You could put a you know, 500 watt battery in there, turn the power down, and have you know maybe to a 20 kilo bike. Um, who knows? Maybe that things to come. So, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe for more. Cheers.